Well, good morning everybody, uh, morning, evening, whatever it may happen to be. We have some interesting things to show you today. Um, my young lady is from Taiwan. Uh, you may have heard of or know of Tiger Balm. This is Tiger Balm, which you can put on, it's a bit like deep heat rub. You can rub it on your skin and um, it sort of uh, penetrates the skin and makes you nice and hot. Um, now, <laughs> we have here a roll-on Tiger Balm. Hopefully no one will ever accidentally use this as a personal deodorant and put it in their armpit because I'm sure that will hurt an awful lot. Some of the other things that we want to show you, lavatory seat um, lifters. Uh, so basically you've got a little bit of double-sided sticky tape on this bad boy and some foam, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll fit that to the toilet seat in a minute, honey and uh, we'll figure out how all of this works. But um, yeah, lavatory seat um, stuff. We also have um, blue light blocking protective films. So this would be applied to an iPad. Uh, and uh, we also have some uh, glasses here as well, which again are used to try and block the blue light uh, from your computer. And the idea of this is that uh, in the evening um, uh, the blue light actually makes you uh, more awake and uh, so if you use these in the evening uh, with your computer it will stop that blue light from in, from from programming your brain to wake up uh, and uh, um, uh, hopefully you'll get a better night's sleep because of it um, yeah, okay hand that to you thank you very much we also, um, <clears throat> we also have here some uh, shopping straps, so you can strap these, I don't know if you can see that very well there, but this is the headrest of the back seat of a car, uh, or the front seat of a car, and um, you can use these little hooks here to uh, strap on to the headrest, and then you can put your shopping bags in this, and this is really quite... Uh, quite durable so uh, yeah that's sort of cool uh, what else we got Ben um, oh yeah the old uh, the old soap sponge case so um, I guess the idea of this is uh, you put your soap in this spongy sponge <laughs> um, the water from the soap and the sponge sort of drips through, as you can see, it's quite a porous sponge, so it drips through and sort of goes away, which keeps the soap dry in order to try and reduce the amount of punkiness you get on the bad, on the other side of the soap. If you have a regular soap dish like I do, um, that piece of soap there just sits in water, in, a, in a, like a little dish of water and just gets really punky and mucky. So the idea of this is, um, is it helps uh, resolve that type of problem. That's sort of cool, various different colours and all that kind of madness. Also, we have uh, cable holders and uh, the idea of this is uh, you can use a little bit of double-sided sticky tape, little sticky pads here and you can uh, pop your cable inside there and it will keep your cable uh, on the side of your bench or wherever it is and stop it from falling on the floor by your bedside table, whatever, wherever it may happen to be. So we'll probably, and, and basically this is the same sort of thing. And uh, yeah, what we'll probably do then is we'll, um, we'll show you those uh, in action a little bit later or we'll show you some of this stuff in action a little bit later on. Another really cute thing that, um, that I've just found um, is this little Scotch 3M donut, a pink and chocolate Scotch 3M donut. Honey, can you just go ahead and get some tape out of that? I've no idea how to use that. I'll bust this one open. Do it on the table here so people can see. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So when you open it, the tape already sticks to it, and then boom, and you close it back up. And you have a donut that dispenses tape. It's almost edible. Cool. Um, next one, a very cute pencil sharpener. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you've seen pencil sharpeners before, but it is a particularly cute little, is it a bear? It looks like a bear. Mm, a, yeah, I think so. That's a bear, is it? Okay, yeah. So, big pencils, small pencils, yeah. Um, what's this then? Ah, keyring. Um, but like a sort of special keyring. 
Um, now these, these, did you get most of these things from sort of like, is it Chalbet shops? Yeah. Or where did you get, where did you buy these things from? Just from markets and whatnot? Mm -hmm. From night markets or? No? No? Okay, anyway, so, um, just, shop. just shops, yeah, just when you're shopping. So, the idea of this, this is a, a steel cable, it's actually a plastic coated steel cable. Uh, you undo it and um, uh, uh, it has two little crimped ends on it, uh, one of which is screwed. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you have been. Um, and the idea is, is uh, you can then, you know, put your keys or put various different things on it. So that's sort of cool. Uh, we have some more traditional stuff here as well. So we have uh, a, a Chinese lantern. Um, what's this? This is just an ordinary red Chinese lantern. Looks a bit like this. I shouldn't bother putting all that in there, babe. But basically, yeah, you put this little piece of metal in the middle of it all and boom, you get a, a cool red light for wherever you want a cool red light for. Um, and this is a, a slightly higher quality, oh, set of different Chinese lanterns. Uh, so here you have a rather cute, now what's this? Is this year of the, what's this, year of the... Oh. That's Year of the Goat, is it? Okay, so sometimes they make the lanterns for a specific um, Chinese calendar year. Uh, and that kind of thing. So, awesome. And then we have an English invention, uh, which is called a cup of tea. Well, thanks for watching. Um, we'll maybe video a couple of these things and show you what they look like in a bit. Not my usual. Bring it on, Bring it on stage, honey. Put it out there. Look at that. How cool is that? Yeah, there we go. So yeah, we'll uh, maybe uh, go ahead and uh, shoot a couple of these things um, uh, as we fit them around the house. But uh, yeah, we should have a very organised house going forwards.